Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria and welcome if you are new. So tonight is an after dark clean with me. So if you guys are here for some extreme cleaning motivation, you have come to the right spot because I am also collabing with a good friend here on YouTube, Megan from Loving Life as Megan. I absolutely love this girl. I have only started following her fairly recently. However, her videos here on YouTube are amazing and she actually stole my heart over on instagram this girl is so down to earth such a sweetheart and a total go-getter and i couldn't help but just fall in love with her so when you are done watching my video definitely go check out megan because you guys are going to fall in love with her just like i have and if you are coming over from megan's channel Welcome, my name is Cambria. I am a stay-at-home mom to two small boys, as well as a military wife, and I do a ton of cleaning motivation on my channel and just really try to get you guys motivated. But before I talk too much, let's get into this. But I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. So with it being winter, this is an after dark clean with me. However, it's actually not super late at this time with me doing this. I usually try and tackle this before my husband gets home from work, which is usually around six or seven o'clock at night. That way he's just coming home to a freshly cleaned house. The other thing you will notice that the kids, especially on school days, I don't force them to help me clean other than maybe tidying up their toys just because with them being in school and everything I kind of think it is a good thing after a long day to just kind of come home and relax obviously after they got any homework done but I'm not the type of person that's like all right do your homework and then you have to do this this and this I really like to give the kids just a mental break because I know myself after a long time all I want to do is veg out. So that's what I allow the kids to do is just kind of veg as I get the house back in order. You'll also notice the floors are disgusting, but that is only because it is winter and with the snow and the salt, the floors daily are getting swept and mopped because there is salt and everything everywhere. We came for, let's find out what we're Tonight, the way you rock the dance floor I can feel your heartbeat on mine I don't know what I'm in for But baby, keep it going I don't mind We dance like nobody's watching Dance like nobody's So on this day, I actually had a bunch of extra big dishes because once I've had leftovers in the fridge for a couple of days and I know people are getting sick of them, I really try and just package them up and freeze them because I don't want them to go to waste by keeping them in the fridge. But I'm also not someone that can eat the same thing multiple, multiple days in a row. So we'll have some leftovers and then I just freeze them for a later date. But with that, I had some dishes that were in the fridge that I had to get washed, cleaned, and put away. So definitely a little bit bigger of a load of dishes tonight than I normally deal with, but I try and tackle that at least once a week.
So I love a clean sink, but I have to say, and I have said this in other videos, I have learned over the years that one thing you have to be okay with is good enough. I am never the type of person that feels like everything has to be perfect. However, I do try and keep up with things. I feel like there needs to be a good balance. Like the house is gonna get messy, the house is going to get dirty sometimes, and that's okay. But it's important to be okay with good enough and still make time for the family and personal time and hanging out with friends. So I try and set time aside to get stuff done. And whatever I get done in that set amount of time, awesome. But if it takes a little bit longer to get it done and I have plans, I'm okay with good enough and getting to it at a later date. I feel like it is so important for our mental health and sanity and well-being and happiness of our families to be okay with that, to be okay with good enough and not worry about spending eight hours cleaning your house. But tackle an hour at a time in the evening, in the morning, whatever really works best for you. You got a habit of moving on, and so you'd rather be anonymous. All right, time for a close up on some real life because I swear these cameras are super forgiving, and I cannot tell you how many times I've been told that I'm cleaning a clean house. Trust me, with two small boys that are very rambunctious, as well as two large very fluffy dogs. My house is definitely not always clean and there's definitely always something too clean just because little fingers and dog hair and everything. But yeah, like I said, cameras are so forgiving. So I wanted to try and be more intentional with showing you guys that I swear I'm not cleaning a clean house, but tackling the daily messes of family life. Turning down all the city lights Take my hand and make this life Whoa, whoa, whoa So I dance through the long So confession, normally I use my method wood for good. However, it was upstairs in the bedroom from dusting the furniture up there earlier in the day. And I just didn't feel like going upstairs and getting it. So today I'm just using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray, which, hey, that sometimes happens when this table needs to get cleaned and something's not convenient to get. Sometimes I don't use it, but I do love using the Method Wood for Good. That is by far my favorite. But tonight, Mrs. Meyers had to do just because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> no better reason than I didn't feel like it and back to the whole thing of being okay with good enough all right I also want to give you guys a close-up on my floors oh the salt dog prints are all over my house and this is literally daily like I'm looking at my floors right now doing this voiceover and they look just as bad as in this video and I just did this last night. <laughs> but that's just what happens when you live in Wisconsin and snow and salt in the winter. It's the one thing that I just can't keep up with no matter how hard I try. Unless I'm literally keeping a mop and bucket out 24-7, the floors just get trashed so easily in the winter. Haven't had a pause yet, maxing out my mistakes. All my dreams might be made of gold. Dizzy on the Sunday, knocked out on the Mondays. All the shallow, shallow friends on mine. I got the champagne dripping from inside my spine. No credit cards to buy my time.
right, confession time. I have a bit of an obsession with good vacuums. So I have a couple. I have two robot vacuums, one for the upstairs and one for the downstairs, as well as a Quantum X vacuum, which is a water filtration vacuum that I use for upstairs. And this one you see me using downstairs is my Shark Duo. I love the Shark Duo for downstairs because it has two rollers and the front roller kind of works as like a duster brush. So on the hardwood floors, it gives a nicer clean and nicer shine. But I get teased all the time about having so many vacuums. But I feel like each vacuum I have has a specific purpose. And another confession, I still kind of want a cordless vacuum as well. That would put me at five vacuums and might be a little outrageous, but yeah. <laughs> I get teased about that all the time, but I swear they all have their purposes. Something about the way you dress, baby. Got me feeling like you miss, baby. We should still have fun, though we say we don't. Cause I just wanna get down with you. only good thing about really dirty floors is it is so satisfying to see them really clean right after mopping. There is nothing prettier to me than a freshly mopped floor when it's still a little wet and glistening. I absolutely love it. I just wanna get down with you. you, you, you. The final last time I can call you mine. Once more than I swear we are through. You can tell me when we're naked. We don't have time, so let's not waste it. Have not kissed your lips for days. Don't remember how they taste. You can tell me when we're So I always get asked what I use to clean my floors. One thing I do want to point out is these are not real hardwood floors. So it is a, treated a little bit differently. However, I used to have hardwood floors in my old house and I did the exact same thing. I just use really hot water, vinegar, and a little bit of dish soap. I try not to use any type of major chemicals or anything with a wax on it that could build up on the floors. So that's why I really like mainly using vinegar and water. The dish soap is purely just for the smell and sometimes getting up the really difficult areas. But that is mainly what I use on my floors. And the spin mop works great to make sure there is not too much water being left on the floors and it dries quickly. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
Don't forget to go check out Megan's video. I know you are going to absolutely love her as much as I do. But until next time, bye!